On Thursday, July 1, recrafted COVID-19 measures recently announced by the government took effect. Some of these include an expansion of the curfew hours to allow for the reopening of the entertainment sector. Prime Minister Andrew Honis says the move is a strategic one to expand the opening of the economy. So there are narratives being created that the government recrafted the infection prevention and control measures under the DRMA to facilitate entertainment. That is not quite actually the case. The government has always made it clear that we have had to balance lives and livelihoods. And that we have to be sensitive and careful that the measures that we put in place don't become oppressive in themselves such that people start to calculate their own risk and break the DRMA measures. That we have to not just look at one sector of the society, but at all sectors. And to be clear, yes, entertainment has suffered. They have suffered over a year. But so too as many other businesses, whether it is the people who are involved in the hairdressing and the parlors, and they are suffering. Whether it is the tailors, they are suffering. Whether it is the people who have their little shops and restaurants, they are suffering. Whether it is the farmers, they are suffering. The government knows and understands that the pandemic has had a terrible impact on the poor and on small businesses. And so in, as soon as we get an opportunity to provide relief to those persons who have been without income, we will, with due care and caution, allow for increased movement, increased gatherings, but we always appeal to every citizen, follow the protocols that are established to protect yourself. He says under the Disaster Risk Management Act, the government has reconsidered all possible potential risks and has put in place mitigation strategies 